Right now, many teachers showed up in force to tonight's Madison Schools board meeting, sharing the problems they're seeing early on in the school year. Plus, a sit down with former Speaker of the House Paul Ryan to hear his thoughts on next year's presidential election. And a historic first as a sitting president joins striking workers on the picket line. Hear President Biden's message to striking UAW workers. That's all coming up at 10. Well, another night of wet weather in southern Wisconsin, but there are no complaints for most of us. For others, it has been a little too much. That's right. Part of the area under a flash flood warning. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joins us now with details in his first foreign forecast. Gary? Eric, yeah, the uh, central and eastern portions of Lafayette County around Darlington are under a flash flood warning. Let's take a look at the radar and the uh, flash flood warning for Lafayette County. There it is, uh, centered right over Darlington. Uh, this uh, warning has been issued because we've seen some areas of showers and thunderstorms kind of move over the same general area over uh, the last couple of hours. So as we put the radar into motion, you see how the storms move off to the west and then just kind of rebuild over the same area. And if we look at radar rainfall estimates, Perhaps as much as two to four inches of rain had fallen right around the Darlington area. So because of that, a uh, flash flood warning has been issued. However, you can see most of the shower and thunderstorm activity has pretty much been confined to far southwestern Wisconsin. The rest of southern Wisconsin just seeing a few light showers from time to time. Most of the thunderstorms are from about Darlington over toward Platteville. And six-hour future track radar shows those showers and storms diminishing as more develop out to the east and then kind of work their way back westward. Also, a little bit of fog starting to form tonight. We might see a little bit more overnight, but uh, over over toward uh, Toma, we're seeing visibilities down to around a mile. Right now, temperatures in the mid-60s, 64 in Madison, 64 in Janesville. These temperatures aren't going to change very much overnight. 65 right now in Verona and 64, the current temperature in Sun Prairie. Look for showers, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm over the next couple of hours and areas of fog overnight. Low temperature dropping to 62. We'll have one more day of showers tomorrow and then... It'll turn drier and warmer. I'll tell you how mild it'll get as we head toward the weekend in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. The Milwaukee Brewers are the National League Central champions. The Chicago Cubs were chasing them in the standings, but the Cubs lost tonight. Locks up the division for the Brewers just a few days after they clinched a postseason berth. Here's video of the Brewers' champagne celebration in the clubhouse upon learning they were the NL Central champs. Zach will have more on tonight's Brewers game coming up a little bit later in sports. Tonight, the Madison School Board hosted its first meeting of the academic year. Attendance was full. Many of those there in person tonight were members of Madison's teaching union. Arman Rahman has a recap of the discussion. Eric and Charlotte, teachers, substitute teachers, and social workers spoke about their demands for the 2023-2024 school year, which they announced in February. But even though the school year just started, they say the biggest hurdle are classrooms that are too full for one teacher. Only one person in public comments spoke about the bus issues within MMSD, such as delays and missed stops. He says the district and first student have to communicate with parents to come up with solutions before picking a new superintendent. If there are indeed incompetent people or vendors around us, we should train them to work with us or let them go. We cannot hand a new superintendent a chaotic solution and expect miracles. But most of the public comment came from teachers representing MTI, Madison's Teachers Union. I came to ask for student-centered staffing. Dozens of educators packed the auditorium as their colleagues told the board they're dealing with class sizes as high as 31 students, mainly in kindergarten and elementary school grades. We don't all fit on the carpet. There's nowhere in the room we can circle up for crew, which is our EL morning meeting. We stretch an entire hallway, so turn a corner and have lost them. I've had kids in tears because it's too loud, but they should be able to play. A Madison student also echoed the impact of a large class size. We don't have room to move around, and, there, and we never have all the materials we need. There's nowhere to take a break or just a quiet space in general. The union is calling for class sizes of 18 to 28, depending on grade levels. 29 students in a class is way too many kids. They say student-centered staffing includes making sure there's enough support staff for students. We're asking for one social worker, one counselor per 250 students. This barely meets our students' basic needs. The teachers say when a class is too big, it negatively affects the kids' learning, and they worry it'll cause more teachers to leave. The guy's tired. It's a lot of kids. But I love them. 
The next school board meeting is scheduled for October 30th. Armand, thank you. A Chicago man has been sentenced to 10 years in federal prison. Authorities say he was involved in trafficking drugs between Chicago and Madison. 56-year-old Reginald Jemison is the fifth person sentenced in connection to this scheme. In December of 2020, a mail inspector found a package with nearly 600 grams of fentanyl inside. It was turned over to investigators who later learned the recipients of that package had been paid by Jemison to sell the drugs in Chicago. He was later arrested and pleaded guilty in June to charges of possessing fentanyl with intent to distribute. Police officers here in Madison have recovered four guns from a vehicle involved in that shooting from yesterday afternoon. Multiple people reported shots fired between two vehicles on Rethke Avenue. One arriving Madison PD sergeant saw one of the suspect vehicles leaving the area and followed it. That vehicle later crashed into a parked truck while trying to flee police. Three people ran from the vehicle. Inside, there were four guns in plain sight. Authorities put up a drone and brought out a canine but did not find the suspects and no arrests have been made. New tonight, police in Stoughton say a group of kids are responsible for thousands of dollars in damage to vehicles and buildings in the city. The majority of that damage was mainly found along Ridge Street near the hospital. Stoughton police say they know the kids responsible but did not say if any arrests have been made. The case is under investigation and is expected to be referred to juvenile court for potential charges. A deadly crash this afternoon on State Highway 11 Lafayette County killed a 27-year-old man and a child. The Lafayette County Sheriff's Office says a pickup truck crossed over the center line and collided with a semi truck about two and a half miles east of Gratiot. A 27 year old passenger in the front seat survived the crash but was taken to a Monroe hospital. Her condition is unknown. The driver of the semi truck, a 30 year old man from Indiana, was not hurt. Former House Speaker, Vice Presidential nominee and a native of Janesville, Paul Ryan, spoke at UW Madison today. But beforehand, he spoke with our political reporter Will Keneally. Get out of your cocoon. Spend time with people who do not look or think like you. Wisconsin Congressman and House Speaker Paul Ryan retired from politics in 2019 and hasn't looked back. I did it for 20 years. I, 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 the next generation should move on. But he continues to be a powerful force in Republican politics, speaking about it at an event at UW-Madison Tuesday. It's going to play on your biases. And that's the world we live in today. That's my strong conviction. If we nominate Trump, I think we lose the White House, we lose seats in Congress. He's been an opponent of former President Donald Trump, who currently leads his party's nomination race. If we can consolidate the field from, say, six or seven people to one or two people, then somebody other than Donald Trump will be our nominee. I hope that happens. He also spoke on campus amid a fiery debate on Capitol Hill over the federal budget. The U.S. government is looking like it's headed towards a shutdown unless the current Republican House Speaker can get conservative members of his own party on board. There's a handful of members who are pushing us toward a government shutdown, and it's, 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 a, it's a waste of effort and time. It doesn't bode well for the party that does it, but a lot of these members have not yet learned that lesson, unfortunately. Ryan is convinced we are headed toward a shutdown, but is confident that Congress will reach an agreement at some point. And I do believe that they'll get the government funded at the end of the day, but it's going to be a bumpy road between now and then. Reporting in Madison, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. And Congress has until Saturday at midnight to pass a spending plan. State lawmakers are working on tackling poverty and inequity across Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Opportunity Act was reintroduced this morning, which addresses workforce development, transportation priorities, and housing issues. It would direct funding to programs that alleviate the effects of poverty. A minimum wage worker has to work 91 hours a week in order to afford a modest one-bedroom apartment. We know that we have to take a bigger, comprehensive approach to poverty. And there are items in this bill that everyone should be able to agree on. Now, we all have different takes on poverty, and politics often get in the way, but I do believe that we do want to get to the same place. The bill also call, comes with funding to help connect residents out of work with the resources to re-enter the workforce. Pro-life advocates are asking the district attorneys in Dane and Milwaukee counties to end abortion services in the state. This as they resumed at Planned Parenthood last Monday. A Dane County judge ruled Wisconsin's 1849 abortion ban does not actually apply to consensual abortions, but instead feticide. However, 
pro-life groups argue the DAs are being selective and not bringing charges to those performing abortions. A representative from Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin says they are following all applicable laws and there is nothing to enforce. Authorities seized a loaded gun after it was found inside a carry-on going through security at Dane County Regional Airport yesterday morning. That handgun was spotted while the luggage was being x-rayed. Dane County deputies took the gun after it was reported by TSA. It is the third incident this year where a firearm was found by TSA at the airport. Now you can fly with a firearm, but it cannot be loaded, it has to be in your checked baggage. After 148 days of negotiations, picket lines, and stalled productions, the Writers Guild of America has officially voted to end the Hollywood Writers Strike. It'll officially end at 12.01 a.m. Pacific time, at which time more than 11,000 writers will be eligible to return to work, and that should jumpstart production of most live talk shows, including late night, in the coming days and weeks. But shows that require acting will remain on hold as the SAG-AFTRA strike has been ongoing since mid-July. Yeah. President Joe Biden joined United Auto Workers in Michigan today on the picket line as a sign of solidarity as they strike. It was historic. Never before has a sitting president visited a picket line. Biden has said himself that he is pro-union and spoke today about how unions have contributed to the growth of this country. Wall Street didn't build the country. The middle class built the country. Yeah. We built the middle class. We deserve what you've earned, and you've earned a hell of a lot more than you're getting paid now. Biden's likely opponent in next year's presidential election, Donald Trump, is scheduled to address UAW workers in Michigan tomorrow. The federal government in 17 states, including Wisconsin, are suing Amazon in a landmark monopoly case. The complaint alleges Amazon unfairly promotes its own platform and services at the expense of third-party sellers who rely on its e-commerce marketplace for distribution. Amazon's general counsel, David Zapolsky, said the company's practices have helped spur competition, innovation, and selection across the retail industry, resulting in lower prices and faster delivery. Up next at 10, a different kind of pumpkin patch is popping up in northwestern Wisconsin. These pumpkins are meant to be admired, not carved. A closer look at how these glass-blown pumpkins are made, that's still ahead. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. This week's high V hot deals are fresh ground beef, just $2.98 for a one pound roll, honey crisp apples, just $1.88 a pound, and high V tomato or chicken noodle soup, just 48 cents, only at high V. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did, but we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. That's me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. Rugability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable, rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com calls Honda the best value brand. Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. But we like Rugability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me really self-conscious. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is very difficult to get rid of with diet and exercise alone. That's exactly why I went to Sono Bello. I really trust their team of experts, and I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. Ab EX is a great alternative to a tummy tuck because that overhang you mentioned becomes flat and tight fast with minimal downtime. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now to learn more about Ab EX by Sono Bello. Call 1-888-285-6876 or go to sonobello.com. This week's High V Hot Deals are Bone-In Pork Shoulder Roast, just $1.68 a pound. 
Coke products, or AHA, just $4.99 each when you buy three. And Lunchables, or P3, just $1.48, only at hy -Vee. He was last seen fleeing from a traffic stop in Rock County. Months later, his body was discovered in an abandoned home miles away. What happened to Christopher Miller? News 3 Now probes for answers in an exclusive discussion with the Rock County Sheriff's Office. Thursday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin is asking fellow Senator Bob Menendez to resign after his indictment on bribery charges. Menendez, who is New Jersey's senior U.S. Senator, is accused of taking bribes to protect an Egyptian business monopoly. She called the allegations against him deeply troubling and said in part, quote, while Senator Menendez enjoys the presumption of innocence until proven guilty and will have his day in court to defend himself, I believe it's best for his constituents, the American people, and our national security for the senator to step down. The Department of Defense says an April wildfire near Fort McCoy was not caused by a prescribed burn known as the Arcadia Fire. Army officials say it started in or around McCredden's Pass. That's more than a mile and a half from where the prescribed burn happened. The cause of the wildfire remains undetermined. However, the Department of Defense ruled out lightning, troop training, and operations. The Arcadia fire burned more than 3,000 acres. At least four buildings were damaged, with some residents in Monroe County being forced to temporarily evacuate. In Eau Claire, more than 2,000 glass-blown pumpkins are ready to go for Wisconsin's 7th Annual Glass Pumpkin Patch Sale. The Glass Orchard will host the event over two weekends next month, October 7th and 8th and October 14th and 15th. The store is an apple orchard, glass studio, and retailer all in one. Its owner says they've been preparing since the beginning of the year and shares how the glass blowing works. Yes, gathering out of the glass furnace, it's at 2,000 degrees, molten glass sitting in there, and then we'll bring that out, apply color, and inflate it, go into a mold. Well, if that sounds interesting to you workers there, we'll teach you more about the art of glass blowing for free during this event. For more information, just visit glassorchard.com. It has been nearly impossible the last few days to go online and not see anything about Taylor Swift and NFL tight end Travis Kelsey. The two are rumored to be romantically involved, and that rumor appears to have legs after she was spotted in his uh, suite during the Kansas City Chiefs win on Sunday. Her attendance brought an unexpected spike in Kelsey's jersey sales online. He's had one of the top five selling NFL jerseys after a nearly 400% spike in sales across Fanatic's website. We do want to note, neither have confirmed that they're together, but they haven't denied it either. <laughs> Looking for love will cost you, at least for users of Tinder's new invite-only membership tier. It costs, get this, $500 per month. Accepted users are allowed to direct message people without matching first. Members can also see and be seen by the app's most sought after profiles. This new option is only being offered to less than 1% of users. It's not entirely your kid's fault that they've been had some trouble putting their smartphones down. A new report found that teenagers get more than 200 notifications every day. And that report says about a quarter of those notifications and alerts come during the school day. The findings come from Common Sense Media, a nonprofit that helps families navigate media. The study uses data from about 200 participants ages 11 to 17. The Powerball jackpot has grown to an estimated $835 million after no lucky winners took home last night's grand prize. The next drawing is tomorrow night, 9.59, with a lottery ticket costing just $2. According to Powerball, the odds of winning the jackpot are 1 in 292.2 million. But remember, you can't win if you don't play. You now, why did the chicken cross the road? Maybe to run from the cops. This body cam video is out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. It shows Officer Nathan Swindle chasing down this chicken after a resident's complaint about the bird. He was able to capture the chicken and return it to its home. Swindle was able to joke about it afterwards, saying this was <laughs> his first foot chase, or is it a claw chase? Kind of remind me of Rocky in those movies. Remember yeah. how he trained chasing the chicken? <laughs> Gotta have some quick feet. Gary's back. We've got some rain, maybe in some places too much, right? Yeah. Uh, Lafayette County right now seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms and flash flood warnings are in effect for that area. Let's take a look. The warning itself pretty much centered right over Darlington and just uh, about maybe 10 miles in any direction. It runs until midnight. This is the area that has seen repeated shower and thunderstorm activity. You can still see some moderate to heavy rain right around Darlington.
Darlington heading off toward the east right along Highway 81. Over the last hour, you can see how the storms have been drifting back toward the northwest, but new storms have been developing right to the east and just kind of traveling over the same area. It's kind of a very localized area, but that's the area that has been seeing flooding. These are radar rainfall estimates just over the last 12 hours. Three to four inches of rain uh, to the east, north, and south of Darlington, but you get to Wyota and they're probably less than a half inch of rain. So it just depends on where you are. Also some heavier rains into parts of Grant County, maybe a couple of inches over toward Dickeyville. They've had some flood advisories there. But notice that's where most of the heavy rain has been. The rest of southern Wisconsin has just seen light rain. Uh, these light green areas, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. Darker green, about a quarter to a half inch of rain. So most of the heavy rain has been concentrated over southwestern Wisconsin. And you can see that's right where the shower and thunderstorm activity continues. <coughs> as the low pressure system responsible for everything is traveling just to our south. So now we're on the north side. That's why the, uh, the cell movement is basically from east to west but just some light showers popping up from time to time. Now we're starting to see some activity over Lake Michigan and also some showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms down uh, between Janesville and Beloit. Over the next six hours, you can see the activity in southwestern Wisconsin may weaken as more showers and perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm move through Milwaukee and areas north and east of Madison into areas around, uh, say, Beaver Dam and up toward Columbus. So just because it's not raining where you are now doesn't mean that you're not going to see some more rain. The three things you need to know, the scattered showers will continue through tomorrow evening, and then that will probably be the end of the rain. But we'll still see fog overnight tonight, and then again tomorrow night with all that moisture around. And then dry weather returns from Thursday through Wednesday of next week, and high temperatures by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday will be up around 80 degrees. You can certainly see the spin in that storm system just to our south. That's why the rain is pretty much localized to our part of the Midwest, but tomorrow that will start moving off to the east. Planning your, uh, your night and into tomorrow, look for those scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms, temperatures staying nearly steady in the lower 60s. We'll see some areas of fog overnight. 6 a.m., again, some showers more now to the north and east of Madison as that low starts to drift eastward across northern Illinois. So still see some scattered showers, 10 a.m., noon, into about early afternoon, a few scattered showers. But notice, maybe some breaks in the clouds out west. Temperatures could be up around 70. Madison probably still staying in the 60s through 6 p.m. And then some areas of fog forming again overnight. Rainfall amounts and future track now in the 10th to a quarter of an inch of rain unless you're caught underneath those heavier thunderstorms then you can probably see a half inch to an inch of additional rainfall planning your day tomorrow 68 for the high in Wanakee 67 in Mount Horeb and 68 in Fitchburg with uh, scattered showers across the rest of southern Wisconsin Janesville hitting 68 but again maybe a few peaks of sun out west getting the high up to 70 in Prairie du Chien here at Madison look for high of 68 tomorrow with some scattered showers first warm 7 to 10 day forecast 71 on Thursday with afternoon sunshine and then lots of sunshine as the temperatures warm up to around 80 from Sunday through Tuesday of next week, maybe a thunderstorm chance Wednesday night, ending early on Thursday morning, a little cooler for the end of next week. And coming up in sports, the celebration is on in Milwaukee, how the Brewers clinched the division in a loss. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Dear Sharp Curves, Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. We got traction, baby. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. Who's always behind the scenes helping make safe, regulated childcare possible in Wisconsin? DCF. We're your trusted source in support of quality childcare. Learn more at qualitychildcare.wi.gov. With dad's arthritis, he struggles with housework and bathing, so I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their age at home service, dad gets the help he needs to stay independent at home. A grace. Caring every step of the way. Get 11% off your entire kitchen upgrade at Menards. Clearview cabinetry is flexible by design, so you can go from doors to drawers for storage that works at every stage. And the style is so easy to update. You can do it in a snap, meaning you don't have to remodel your space to make it work even better. Save over $400 on these Travic Hickory Kitchen Cabinets after rebate. Clearview cabinetry, 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
When an appliance you rely on goes kaput, you can count on family-owned Brothers Maine, Southern Wisconsin's local appliance authority since 1938. With thousands of in-stock options, we have the brands you want at the lowest prices guaranteed. Even Big Box can't beat our prices. Our experienced team of appliance experts will help you make the right selection, and we deliver it fast and free to your home. What you need when you need it. Shop appliances you can bring home today at our Madison and Janesville showrooms. Feel like family. Brothers Maine. I'm Rebecca, and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sona Bello, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sono Bello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-952-0466 or go to sonobello.com. Dear Sharp Curves, Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. We got traction, baby. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. The Brewers have already clinched a spot in the playoffs, but there's still work to be done in Champagne to pop. Milwaukee's magic number to win the NL Central title is one, and it can happen in one of two ways. Beat the Cardinals or have the Cubs lose to the Braves. No score in the first. Carlos Santana paints the right field line, and the crew takes a 1-0 lead. Now, the Cardinals would score four straight and go on to win. But it wouldn't matter. Cubs blew a six-run lead and lost to the Braves. So for the fifth time in franchise history, the Brewers are the division champs. The reigning national champs journey for Natty number eight officially begins on Thursday when Wisconsin travels to Lindenwood. And the Badgers have a loaded roster yet again. Mark Johnson's squad returns 16 letter winners from last season's team. And they have their sights set on another trip to the Frozen Four. And as in years past, they know they're going to get everyone's best shot. And that's something that fuels this team. Obviously, we have a pretty large target on our backs. Um, I mean, we're just, we're used to that. And I think under pressure, we do better. So it's not something we're not used to. And um, it actually fuels us more, I feel like, as a team. Um, we have a lot of grit, a lot of determination. Just to expect everyone's best game when you see them, that's kind of the important part of it. But also just to not melt under the pressure, but just to embrace it and uh, get better because of it. The Mike Hastings era of Badger men's hockey begins in just 11 days when Wisconsin welcomes in Augustana to the Kohl Center. But right now, the guys aren't even thinking about their season opener. Under Hastings, it's a daily approach. Win the day, do all the dailies right, and then move on to the next practice. And if they can do all that and stack good days on good days, the games then will be the easy part. Pushing each other so hard in practice, um, you know, we're we're showing up early to the rink. We're, we're getting things done on time. We're pushing each other. We're holding each other accountable. Those are kind of those dailies that we're preaching as a team. And if we can get those in order and that accountability aspect, especially, we're going to be able to come out on a hot start. This season is going to lay out the way it does. Uh, we're going to try and control what we get to control and uh, build our dailies into our weeks. And hopefully at the end of that, we're playing our best hockey. And the Packers looking to snap a three-game losing streak against the Lions, and it looks like they're getting some reinforcements for Thursday's game. Christian Watson, who hasn't played this season, said today after practice that the plan is he's playing, while well, the assumption is that Aaron Jones will also be active against Detroit. We're back after this. At Stanton Optical, you can stop waiting forever for an appointment. Same-day eye exams and walk-ins are always available. I wish other things would happen as fast. Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience.
that's new. Live in our rhythm and stay. I'm Randy Bump with Bump Farms, and this is my John Deere. So I'm a sixth generation farmer. Uh, our farm was homesteaded here in 1846. I think the thing that makes Soam stand out the most for me is probably the people, the products, and the service. Whether it's bulk oil delivery, bulk death delivery, the Sloan helpline, I mean, they're, they're always there for me. And I've actually had them open up on a Sunday and get parts for me so I can keep a combine running. And that's why I think Sloan's first. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So let's get to yours with an SUV like the Ford Edge with a bright 12-inch LCD touchscreen, the power of an EcoBoost engine to get up and go, intelligent all-wheel drive, and a panoramic Vista roof to get a better view of your world. Be future ready with Ford Edge. Choose FlexBuy on Edge with 0% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 FlexBuy cash and 1,000 low APR cash only at your local Wisconsin Ford dealer. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. Hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Welcome to Too Good to Guess. Can you guess how much two pairs of progressives, a free eye exam, and anti-glare lens upgrade will cost at Stanton Optical? Only $135? Wow, a deal so good, every customer wins. Book your eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Donate kids winter coats at Clinky Cleaners during Coats for Kids. Gary's back. One final check of the forecast. Yeah, we have a flash flood warning remaining in effect for uh, Lafayette County right around Darlington. Uh, you can see that area that's flashing, that warning in effect until midnight tonight. Um, high resolution radar shows repeated showers and some isolated thunderstorms continuing over Darlington and areas just to the north, but more activity coming in out of the south, out of uh, northwestern Illinois, where flash flood warnings are in effect for Joe Davies County, just south of the state line, and also some showers and storms heading through the Chainsville area right now. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.